I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. Yeah. So, what happened to your trap? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Mark. Oops. I bet. Wait. I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. How much more longer do we gotta fucking we still heading the right way? to get there? It depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape uh. from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls, our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? It's just, you know. Maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just is. I keep fucking clicking like the D pad. Like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time, and we're still here, so I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. You acquired some herbs. These can be consumed to replenish your cores using cooking or to craft. Okay, that sounds cool. Cool. It's like every other game, like herbs. Alright, are we almost there yet at this camp? I, 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 I'm assuming that we're going to the camp. Because I don't know where else the fuck we're going. the track for a bit oh my god thanks this has to be where the camp is dude I'll jump on. no i'm not gonna slow up it's already going slow as shit do you want me to go even slower for your ass like no all right how much fucking further is this holy shit All right, but um, if this is the camp, which I'm pretty sure it is, because I think this is the camp, because I see it, I'm probably gonna wrap it up here and then uh, come back on the next one. Keep playing. I'm just starving right now. I need to eat some food. All right, is there another cutscene, and that's it, or? This place is perfect. I hope so, gentlemen. Yeah, this place is nice. We have survived for now. 
Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Jose. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money and a, a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough. But we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. All right. Over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't <laughs> remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. Oh, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Can I save the game? All right, chapter two, horseshoe overlook. Is there gonna be another fifteen-minute fucking cutscene? Now I'm just getting cranky because this loader is not letting me save. It's like it keeps starting a new mission. Like I don't want to keep playing. I want to just end it here. We got off the mountain. Oh my god. Rode east into some pretty oh. enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. Arthur? Oh my fucking Jose. god. <laughs> I thought I was about to start having free roam. <laughs> Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> oh yeah, that's earning your keep, you fucking sack of shit. You're gonna read a book? Fuck that guy. Can I sleep? Oh my god. How can I, let me save the goddamn game, dude. Like it's not in graphics. It's in general. It's not in general. I lied. It's um it's in the story. <clears throat> Alrighty. Save this bad boy. Six point nine percent. Cool. Save it one more time just for safekeeping.
And there we go, guys. Um, that's it for today, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.